Today is Friday, December 29th, and the stock market will be opening in under four and a half hours for now, but this is a trade review I just jumped into involving the micro e-mini S&P 500 futures. The ticker symbol is forward slash MES, and as of the time of this recording, the spot price for the S&P 500 is 4,833 and a half. And since the futures market started trading last night at 6 p.m. Eastern, it's up one handle. So this is the seven day 2000 tick chart, which means each candlestick represents 2000 trades consisting of both the buy side and sell side. This is the current candlestick right here. So a couple of things. Uh, the blue lines are reasonable support and resistance levels that I identified from my perspective. Uh, this is another regression channel that the price has been ranging in. And we can see here that for the past day, day and a half, price hit a high of 4,841. However, it's just been going sideways. It's essentially doing nothing. Uh, finding support here at the yellow and then just ranging sideways. However, heading into the stock market open, I'm anticipating that this trend will be broken and price may come down to retest 48.10. Uh, so what I've concluded based on this review uh, is that opening this up, this is the DXY, this is the dollar index. So earlier this week, it was about to break below 100. And since then, uh, it's been gradually trending back to the upside. And if this trend does continue heading into the stock market open, then that may put negative pressure, not just on the stock market, but the currencies, the foreign currencies will also drop and certain commodities like oil, uh, Bitcoin possibly could drop. Uh, so again, this is all theor in theory, uh, but from my perspective, I'm anticipating a pullback. So uh, a little while ago, I shorted two futures uh, so this is just a visual markup as to where I took a short. And right above that, I have an open order to close out this position. In, in case my assessment is incorrect, price bounces off this support level and runs higher. Uh, so this is an open order to close out the trade, limiting my loss to $75. So with all that said, opening up Active Trader, right here is my entry price, which is what I marked up on the chart. It's also identified by the two yellow arrowheads on either side of price, which is essentially the zero line on the PL scale. And uh, for every tick up or down, it's a profit or loss of $1.25. And because I shorted two futures, the multiplier is two. So for every tick up or down, it's a profit or loss of $2.50. And if I scroll up, my stop order is sitting right here at 48, 42 and a quarter limiting my loss to $75. Uh, if price, if or when price does break below this blue support level, retesting this yellow support level, then I will be walking my stop down with it. Uh, I'll do it incrementally. I won't do it all at once because if there's another bounce, uh, then I don't want to get stopped out because again, it's all contingent on how strong or how the dollar will be trending <clears throat> into today's uh, trading session. Um, if price does come down here to retest uh, 4810, <clears throat> 4810, that's a profit potential of almost $250. So if anything, I'll close it out here at 4809 and get that 250 just to round it up or round down. So that's the current status and general thesis for my bearish outlook. Uh, for the purpose of time, I'll pause it here. I'll probably do an update or a status check heading into the stock market open, provided I don't, I'm not, I don't get closed out. Uh, so until that update, more to follow. So the stock market's been open for a few hours now, uh, but the uh, S&P 500, as I was anticipating, has broken below the uh, yellow support level I have. Uh, for about a day and a half, price was just ranging sideways. 
And then I was fortunate enough to capture or enter this trade prior to this drop. Uh, so what I did was now that price has fallen, I moved my stop from up here all the way down to the local uh, support resistance level, uh, which held up very well for the past day and a half. And also, I was able to short a third futures uh, when price ran up about an hour into the trade. Uh, so I was able to grab a third future. So I have three futures here. So price is trending to the uh, downside. And with another uh, four hours to go into today's trading session, uh, I did move uh, my take profit all the way down here to the next uh, reasonable support level. Uh, so if I open up Active Trader, the position is now up $445. Uh, here's the number of futures I shorted, so all together three. And I was able to increase my cost basis from 48.34 to 48.35. And uh, right now my target take profit target is sitting at 47.94 which is a profit potential of 621 dollars if price continues trending to the downside uh, i don't think i'll be walking it down I, ideally i would like to close it out here but depending on the time of day as to when price hits this low is all it's all contingent uh whether or not i'll move my uh, take profit lower. Uh, chances are I'll probably just leave it here. Uh, I don't mind closing this trade out because, again, I have no intention of holding this position into an extended weekend considering that Monday is an observance for New Year's Day. So the stock market will be closed, but I believe the futures market will be trading 6 p.m. Eastern Time, January 1st, which would essentially be uh, the trading hours for January 2nd at that point. So this is the current status. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pause it here. If and when price breaks below 47.98, I'll, I'll start recording again, hoping to capture uh, the move to the downside to the point that it closes my trade out and uh, completes this uh, bearish move to the downside. So uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll move my uh, alarm just to notify me that price is breaking above this gray support resistance level uh, for a potential retest of the yellow uh, support level. So uh, yeah, so almost at $500 in profit. So uh, I'll pause it here and I'll pick it up uh, at $47.98. So my alarm was just triggered, uh, 47.98 did break, but price is now bouncing a little bit. It's currently quoted at 4,800 right here. So there's a strong move to the upside after dipping below 47.98. Uh, my take profit order, I moved it up to the uh, yellow support resistance level. Uh, so if I open up Active Trader, uh, it's sitting right here at $47.94 for a $621 take profit. And uh, overall trade is up uh, $542. So uh, I'll go ahead and pause it again. I, I don't want to have this recording dragging out too long. Uh, so as it creeps down, I'll uh, unpause it and uh, hopefully I'll capture the uh, closing of the trade. Okay, it's been a few minutes. It appears that this could be a potential bounce to this support resistance level. Uh, so what I'm going to do is move my uh, stop order to this support resistance level, which is about a 300, let's say 48.12. So that would be a $351 take profit if I close it out right here. However, this is a 620 take profit target down here. So um, I'm going to give it a few few more minutes and then I'll move this down. If price continues creeping up a little higher, I'll, I'll walk this down and then I'll leave this uh, take profit here. So I'll pause it again. All right, so I've moved my stop 
here to 48.08 and a half for a $400 take profit. Looks like price is going to run up, retest uh, this uh, support resistance level. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it all the way down to this uh, uh, support level down here. But in any case, this was still a profitable trade. Uh, so I'll pause it again and let's see what happens. So um, as the stock market heads into the afternoon session, maybe there will be some sort of bounce heading into the close. Or this could just be consolidation and then we'll have another move to the downside. So I'll pause it again. All right, so just a couple of ticks away from getting stopped out. Uh, my take profits at 407. We're two ticks away of getting stopped out. There. Trade's done. Uh, take profit, 407.50. Um, I was fortunate enough, again, to capitalize on this move to the downside. After a long day and a half of just going sideways before this drop. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll continue tracking this. But most likely, this is the last trade for the S&P 500 futures for this year. Uh, so it's good to end the year on a good note as well. So uh, until the next setup, I'll see you.